Hey everyone, what's new in Playwright version 1.48? Let's take a look. But first of all, tip of the day, use traces. So much better than screenshots and videos. You can set up traces in your Playwright config under the use object, traces, and we recommend on first retry, which will record a trace on the first retry of a failed test. And then you're gonna get this. Absolutely amazing, a trace of your test, a full trace where you can see all the actions, a DOM snapshot, which you can pop out and inspect the code. And you've got the network, the call, the errors, the console, everything that you could want. And that makes it much, much easier to debug on CI. So use traces. Okay, let's take a look at the agenda. Playwright 1.48, we have WebSockets, woohoo. We have UI mode network tab improvements and some miscellaneous. WebSocket routing to intercept, modify, and mock. So with WebSocket routing, we can now intercept, modify, mock WebSocket connections. And this basically is await page.rootwebsocket. And then WS on message. If the message is request, WS.send response. Let's take a look at a demo. So here we've got a demo. I've got UI mode open and remember to open UI mode, NPX playwright test dash dash UI. So I have three WebSocket tests here. I'm gonna run all these tests in UI mode and I've got a real WebSocket, a mocked WebSocket and an intercepted WebSocket test. Let's take a look at the real one. We simply go to the WebSocket page and we click on the pause messaging. We write in our message in the fill, we send the message and then we expect the text to have um, hello chatbot. And here we've got the code in the source code there of my UI mode. And I can see I'm going to the page, um, pause message, fill it, and then expect all that to there. And let's pop it out into a DOM snapshot so you can see it here, right? I've written in hello chatbot and I've got that hello chatbot. Let's take a look at mocked one. So with the mocked one, we go to the website, right? We have a wait page root web socket. Uh, we send a welcome. And if the message equals hello chatbot, we send back, hi friend, and how can I help you today? So this is the code, these are the actions. And then we basically just expect the page at locator console div to have the text of all those messages that we basically mocked. And if we open up the damn snapshot, we can see here, um, welcome, pause messages, hello chatbot, hi friend, how can I help you today? Okay, and remember with the mocked one, we're mocking. We're not actually calling the server. We're not calling the WebSocket. Okay, um, and then the intercepted WebSocket is a little bit different. So take a look at this one. You'll see on line 47 there, we have a server and we are connecting to the server. So that's the main difference between the intercepted and the mocked one. We're intercepting, we're connecting to the server and we're then adding some extra uh, messages. We're saying intercepted hello chatbot if the message uh, was hello chatbot. So this is a way of intercepting, um, adding to the chatbot message. And let's have a look in the DOM snapshot. We've got connected, um, hello chatbot, intercepted, hello chatbot. Cool, and let's go back to the code and you'll see here, check out line 47, const server equals ws dot connect to server. So that's the difference between intercepted and mocked. We connect to the server, mocked, we're not connecting, and then we have the real one. So very cool, and that means you can very easily now test those chatbots or anything else that you're using sockets for. So let's take a look at UI mode, trace viewer, network tab updates. We can now filter network requests. You've got a filter network and you can all fetch HTML, JS, etc. You can copy as curl or fetch that's in the request under the fetch. And the API duration is now shown as well in the network tab. Let's take a look at a demo so you can easily see it. Again, I've got UI mode open, npx playwright test, dash dash UI. And I'm gonna press play on this test here which is basically a test for a movie. And it's got a network call to get all that data back from the movie. So let's go and take a look at our network tab and see these new improvements. Look at this filter. I can filter for a logo, for example. I'll filter for a list. So this makes it really easy to work with those network requests. I can open fetch. I can look at HTML, the JS, the CSS, the font, the image. Very, very cool, easy way to filter. Let's take a look at the fetch. We can now see the duration of the API um, requests. And if we click on one of the API requests, we can now go down to the very bottom of this and you can see copy as curl or copy as fetch. Now, if we just copy as that as fetch 
And for a second, let's just open the locator tab and just paste it in here just so you can see uh, what's going on. And there's my fetch call and you can do with that whatever you want. So they are the improvements to the UI mode and Trace Viewer, the network tab. Miscellaneous, we got new copy buttons for annotations in the HTML report. And all root actions are now hidden in the report or trace viewer. And for any other of the miscellaneous, check out the release notes on GitHub. So summary, Playwright 1.48, we've got WebSockets, yay! UI mode, network tab improvements, and miscellaneous. And make sure you install Playwright latest version, npm i-d at playwright slash test at latest. And that also gives you the latest browsers. Thanks very much, everyone. Make sure you are reading our documentation. Uh, file all your issues um, into the GitHub repo. And of course, follow us, Discord, YouTube, and X. See you in the next release. Happy testing, everyone.